Morning guys. All right, today we are in Honda Alto Blacktown. Uh, gonna, I guess, test drive a very special car and I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. Shout out to these guys. We're gonna test drive the new Civic Type R. Pretty exciting, because um, I've been really wanting to know what this car sounds and feels like for a long time now. new Civic Type R available at Alto Blacktown. My name's Ye Chan, come down and we're happy to help. All right, so we are now in the Type R. Um, what's the code for this? FK8. FK8. FK8 Type R in the championship white, iconic. The color to be in. Um, so oh, this is only a test drive car, um, he's actually getting one. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> now, I've never, I haven't ever, ever, ever driven this, this car. Um, he's driven it quite a bit already. Second time, first time I loved it. Thoughts. And it is a nice car. It's, it's a good car. I like the gear lever, uh, the, the gearbox is very notchy, it's very that's firm. That's very Honda, isn't it? The it's, best manual gearbox. It's, it's, this is really good. Um, the engine doesn't feel like a Japanese turbocharged vehicle where all the boost comes all at the same time. It really feels European, feels, yeah, really feels European. It's very linear, very smooth, very, you don't really feel it's a turbocharged car. But that's what they were break like raving about considering it is a new kind of setup right turbo and a VTEC engine the, the turbo VTEC um, but you, you, you don't feel the turbo whatsoever it it feels like an NA car do you feel the VTEC coming in uh, I don't know I haven't really pushed the car yet but I don't know probably not <laughs> <laughs> how does it drive like like turning and everything dynamics of the car it's very agile the car is very sharp uh, you definitely feel the difference in the suspension component to a standard car. The steering in Comfort's very soft, Sport it's nice. Uh, plus R is very stiff. You can actually feel it. So wait, oh, you have to hold it to go to Plus R. No, you just go up. Yeah, feel it. Oh. If you go to Comfort, see it's very light. Sport. Plus R. Yeah, it's a lot, lot more weighted. Feel it straight away. Yeah. Um, which is nice. But it's not a, it's not a drastic change, so it doesn't feel fake. No, it, it doesn't feel fake, but you definitely feel the weight of yeah. the steering. Uh, no, no, the handling's really good. It's very sharp. It's, it is very sharp. It's not as um, uncomfortable as I thought it would be. Like, the car's actually quite okay for a, for a hard suspension. Yeah, the, you definitely feel the plastic off the car, but it doesn't... I don't know. It, it feels a bit special. What do you mean? Like the Alcantara, it's nice. The seats, the Alcantara seats are nice. Oh, I've got Type R has or Type R's always have had amazing seats, and I think I think they've done it quite of a good justice here. Um, they've kind of still have the same feeling as like the EPs and the DC um, Recaro seats, except this is more livable. I would say like it's yeah. easier to get in and get out, but. The bolster feels exactly the same. You feel so snug in here and it feels really, really nice. Good quality seats. Now this is really nice compared to the FD2 or seats that I had on my FD. Yeah. This is not as squashy. It's nice. not as huggy, but it's been, uh, but I do miss these seats. Like oh, this these, these are really so good great. seats. First thing I notice is storage. This car has a load of storage. Yeah, take a look at that. Like the boot. The boot is like the size of like my rear seats and my boot in the RS3. Um, this is like one of the biggest <laughs> center console glove box, what do you call it? This is so big, it goes from the cup holes all the way back. Now you got like a little cubby holder underneath the aircon and the MMI, but then you got a second level cubby holder down here again, yeah. even more storage. And you still have the, the side, um, the glove box is again, really really big and the rear seats are actually quite 
Then I'm, that's not a surprising thing though for the replay, the re, the resize to be quite big because even with the even with the FN, it was actually quite ample amount of space. But the quality of the back seat is weird. It looks like plastic. <laughs> the yeah, covering yeah, it doesn't yeah. look cloth. It looks plastic. Uh, yeah. But then again, I'm only going to be sitting in the front, so I don't really care. Let, let's just go through the parts you don't like about the car. I don't like the entertainment system. It does look a bit China made. I think it's a bit too slow and I never like touch screen. It yeah, always leaves I, the fingerprints, which is really annoying. Well, but you don't buy this car for that. Not a big fan of this red on the steering wheel. If it was all black, I think it would be nicer and the fake carbon stuff. Yeah, I mean, the, the interior highlights and trims aren't that great, but they're not the worst thing I've ever seen. What, what attracted to you to this car in the first place? The look of the car, it's... Mental. Yeah, it's, uh, all the new cars are very subtle and like the Golf GDI is very subtle. The new one does look good there, the 7.5. Uh, we're going right here. Yeah. And the Golf R, the Golf R always look very subtle to me. WRX have lost that aggressiveness Edge. look to the car way before you... Oh, because you lose the white body fenders on the WRX. It's not just that, like, you know, compared to the Hawkeye and the Bug Eye and the Peanut Eye, it just looked like a car that you want to have one. But the current one, it looks... Like no, I get it. Every, every, every car's gone through the subtle... subtle it's very subtle. Noise. And this one here, it's out of the... Yeah, it, it's, out, it's out of the ordinary. Yeah, and that's what I like about it. No, it is pretty it's, mental. It's, it's not ap apologetic. It's not trying to be safe. And that's what I like about it. This one looks really good, and I've always wanted a Type R. Now I can afford one. I'm getting one. <laughs> I've always wanted one. His <laughs> words is now I can afford one. It comes from a guy who drives a Porsche. Now I can afford a Type R. <laughs> Couldn't afford one before. <laughs> Wait, but anything you don't like about the car, exterior wise, I don't like the triple exhaust. I think that looks the weirdest thing in the I world. I reckon it looks cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks really cool. Like, I don't even like it if it comes out of a Lamborghini, <laughs> like, let alone this thing. Like, you know, for Ferrari, 458, special ed. Yeah, <laughs> this one just looks weird. The wheels, uh, they, they look, look it's so sunk, sunk it. in. It looked like they just took a Civic and they put 20 inch wheels, put wide guard over it, and they just left the, the stands. Doesn't make sense. Uh, but more. then again, it is, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I was very skeptical about the turbocharged vehicle. But after driving it, no, it's 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 a really good setup what they've done, and I like the whooshing sound from the the wastegate, which is really cool. I wonder if we can get that later in video. <laughs> we'll try. That does sound pretty good. I I think the car sounds good at stock. No toasty, you don't really feel anything even at that corner. Yeah. Which is amazing for a front wheel drive car and that's, yeah, I don't know how they've done it. I just love that we can hear the engine and the engine actually sounds healthy at a high revs. Because um, with a lot, of, a lot of new cars these days, a lot of the focus is on the exhaust and then you don't hear an engine sound at all. Um, with this one, you hear a bit of both and the wastegate. It, it's a nice place to be in. And we have to keep in mind that this is all still stock. Yeah, it's gearbox is awesome. I, I can't I can't believe you can hear that much of the turbo the turbo waste, the wastegate, like at, like at stock. Thing. Like that's <laughs> that's something that you modify. Sounds like an old school Subaru GC8. And the turn in is just so lively the car. Just 
just wants to play the it's yeah the chassis is it's really good found out that that scoop it's not for engine cooling or anything like that um, the air the air basically goes into here and there's like a, a tunnel all the way out out of here which goes into here and then it comes out of this bit aerodynamic purposes all right so that was pretty cool um, so thanks again to Blacktown Alto Honda for lending us the car for like a good half an hour to an hour just filming it um, really good experience I actually got to drive it a little bit on the way back and it was an awesome drive power wise it's so good the car's so quick um, but it doesn't feel like a turbo car it feels so linear it doesn't have this kind of like zzz kind of feel so I love it that, that's just an awesome feeling on a turbo car um, at the same time no torque steer in turns flat foot on a turn second gear third gear feels so planted doesn't feel like a front-wheel drive car overall just love the car um, I think that it actually looks better in real life than in photos so guys don't judge it by the photos that you see come have a look at it first and see if you actually like this car I would definitely buy this over a GTI I'm not sure if I would buy this over an S3 but definitely a GTI good daily anyway guys um, Thanks for watching today. I uh, will see you guys back soon with another car, another video. Peace.